everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic fall day. I wanted to uh, talk to you guys today about something that probably doesn't sound super exciting, but it actually is going to be pretty cool. We're going to talk about batting and what to do with all this extra batting you probably have lying around. Now, what better place to talk about batting than in my kitchen? Well, there's a reason for that and you're going to see. Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is, uh, first tip I want to give you, number one, is batting can make your rag quilts that much more cozy. So what you want to do is you want to cut, like these are 10 by 10 inch squares. So what you would do is cut one inch smaller. So for this particular one, I would do nine by nine inch squares. I would nestle them in between the backing and the top um, square, put the right in the middle and sew it inside of each individual square before you assemble. It's going to make it that much cozier and warmer for those long winter nights that are ahead. Okay, so that is number one. Number two, we're in my kitchen. We have to talk about hot pads, coasters, hot pads, all of that. So there's tons of different styles and ways and we will eventually have um, tutorials on this blog to tell you how to make hot pads. But know that you can use all of your extra batting for that and you can just stack layer upon layer upon layer until you get your desired loft for whatever hot pads you're using, um, you know, whatever you're using it for. All right, so that's number two. Number three, I love this one. Okay, so about a year ago, my dear friend Jara published her book, um, Quilt As You Go Made Modern. And in it, she talks about using batting squares for Quilt As You Go. And this is a fantastic use for extra batting. So do not throw it out. Cut these down to the square size that she has for all of her patterns in there and use this for your Quilt As You Go. And this book, fantastic and I'm going to put the link in um, below this this tutorial so you can always order one if you don't already have it it is fantastic I actually even just used one of these patterns not as quilt as you go but just as a regular quilt pattern and it turned out fantastic so anyway the link will be provided below so that's number three number four you guys are going to love me when I tell you about this one okay so let's bring our batting over how many of you have a Swiffer? I'm sure just about everybody who's watching has a Swiffer at home. Well, here's the deal. You can cut your batting squares, and I actually have my scissors somewhere around here. Where in the world? There they are. Okay, so what you can do is you can cut your batting down to size, just like I'm doing right here. These are not my normal scissors these are my kitchen scissors you guys know the difference right okay so i did this way too big that's okay you got nothing better to do than watch me cut batting right okay so you're going to go ahead and cut it to size and push those right on in and this makes a fantastic substitute for those swiffer inserts that you are buying at the grocery store so i mean amazing because you know they catch all sorts of lint on their own you don't even barely have to sweep okay so that is one of the most ingenious clever ideas for using um, batting okay so now you got your four ideas of how to get rid of that batting around the house whenever you um have a quilt done by our shop we always give you that extra batting and now you know what to do with it okay so now that it's fall, I want you guys to take a peek at our calendar. We have lots of classes and events and all sorts of things going on. Um, and a lot of it is geared towards kids. I've been doing parties and, you know, after school program and doing a parents night out. So definitely take a peek at that. That said, I want you to know I am pretty much a one woman shop now and I do all the teaching. I clean the machines. I fulfill orders. I do obviously the blogs and that doesn't leave a lot of time for pop up hours. So I want you to know that the main reason that we have our space down on Alki is to do our live um, classes. And so we're going to, you know, pull back from those um, open hours. But that said, if you need us, you call us, we are there for you. We will meet you there. We will even, if you live locally in West Seattle, pick up your quilts, pick up your machines, drop them off for you. We're really here to be a local service for you. And you don't always have to come to us, we can come to you. So keep that in mind, you can always give us a call or you can pop us an email at info at West Seattle Fabric Company. But we're just trying to use our time more efficiently and make our schedule and your schedule work together. So don't ever hesitate to call and ask us to pick up your machine 
machine or pick up your quilt because we are happy to do it. All right, I got some swiffering to do. I'm so glad you can't see these floors. So I'm gonna let you go and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much and have a great fall. Oh, by the way, if you've got ideas on how to use extra batting, leave me a comment in the comment section. I look forward to hearing what your ideas are. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.